what up what up we feel what it do welcome back to the we feel y'all welcome welcome to you if you knew if you knew hey hey welcome to the wheat field welcome to you too my name is la la t and i'm a channeled messenger and i message with the big three the alpha omega the infinite intelligence of the all wisdom you know the principal thing aka the word and the breath of life the life force the holy chi that is animating this here god body Energy on this day is definitely low. I feel like it's going to be a slow simmer, a slow burn. Still going to be something edifying good for the soul. And every message is good and edifying first on to me. First and foremost, because I ain't going to feed you nothing I wouldn't eat. And secondly, uh, on to you too. So if the most high brought you to this space, hopefully it's a message for you. Um, we are sipping out of our cup this morning that says blessed this morning this rising i feel mourning because i'm definitely feeling a sense of grief grieving relationships of the living kind of had some complications too Reset the lock on the refrigerator and I don't remember what I set it to. Now I can't get in it. I'm going to have to pry the lock off and buy a whole new one and put it on it. Shit's pissing me off just a little bit. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega for being here. Bless me through my affliction. Allow me to glorify in my affliction. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Take a step back. Ooh, we need to do that. That's for sure. Thank you, angels, for helping me step back for what is not serving me. That's what we just said. Grieving relationships in the living. And at this point, I don't really give a shit who it is. I'm talking about my own kids. Okay? Not just my child. It's a saying that people be going around here saying, fuck these kids. That's some hard shit to say. It is. Sometimes it be true. Because these kids will do some fucked up shit to you. I'm just saying, the Menendez brothers was not the only ones. They wasn't. And I know a person, for sure, who's one of my close friends, knowing her for years. Um... Her best friend. I knew her too. We weren't as close as me and my close friend was, but that was her best friend. And we all worked in the same circle. She got took out by her own son, yo. He took her out and the long-term boyfriend. She had been with this man for 30 some years. Well, not that long. How long was it, Renee? At least 15 years, she said. 15 years. He took her and him out. I know, beloved. And we say this stuff like it's release, it's moving. Archangel Michael is here too. Protection. We say these things like it can't happen. And then we'll be shocked when it happens. I ain't oblivious. I know this shit is real. And I ain't crazy. <laughs> I connect with music and transformation this year. Maybe I need to play my, play my praise music, something, the inspiration. Because I know we are underneath the transformation. We are, we going through. When I say it can't stay like this, beloved, it cannot. Who I am telling you, it cannot. I hardly slept last night, and when I did sleep, it was just like, <sighs> like I said, now I can't get in my refrigerator because I changed the code, and now I don't remember what I changed it to. Now I gotta pry the damn lock off and buy a new. Why the fuck would you have to do all that? 
Now we get the fact that kids will go in there and eat up some snacks. You buy some shit. They gonna eat some extras. That shit is normal. But if you buy a fucking 20 box of chips and you done ate 18 of them bitches in one motherfucking day, I got a problem with that shit. I say I don't. I don't. I don't get social services. I, I'm a regular ass middle class worker who got to pay whole coin for every motherfucking thing. We be trying to find coupons and couponing and shit like that to make the shit stretch. So I got to put locks on every motherfucking thing so that you don't go in there and just binge out of control and eat every fucking thing up in one goddamn day. Now folks could say, well, just don't buy no more. That's true, but shit, goddamn, I like to eat too. I like pig feet. Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the goddamn kitchen eating up all the goddamn food. I feel a kind of way today, y'all. I'm just saying I do. Glorify my afflictions. Thank you. Your grace is sufficient. Your grace is sufficient. Would you like to look at one of these? Thank you to the outfit and make it for being here. Shine your light, inner voice, something speaking to me, manifesting miracles, that something gonna come in, something that's gonna help us. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me share my light with the world. This is testimony, testimony to Darrell. Hope it bless somebody too on this day. Because y'all blessing me just by being here and listening. I'll show you. I wouldn't care if it was twos and fews. Just as long as somebody else come and they can understand that they ain't alone. I'm here with you. I'm just saying. Ouch. Bless. You don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> Shoot. Balance and speak your truth. I'll show you that. I shades of that, beloved. Balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing balance into my life, for bringing my life into balance. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me speak with integrity. We had that yesterday. I think it was. Anything else? Trust your vibes and manifest in me. Trust my vibe. My vibe said something got to change, I say. I feel like Bernie Mac, these kids ain't gonna kill me. Spiritual abundance. I feel like it's in reverse for sure. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with the infinite abundance. It's in reverse. You want me to turn it down? You want me to put it back? Okay, well, we're gonna put it back. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for loving lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Accepting these afflictions we 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. Need to get the book out and read it one more time. We know it though. The grace is sufficient for thee. But in my weakness, the most high God will strengthen me. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. And to trust that the Most High God is going to get us through this. Oh, yes. Where am I going? Please and thank you, Spirit. Peaceful warrior. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Stand my ground with peace and shine my light. I guess maybe this is what I needed to see. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. We just pulled this card and I put it back in the deck. Just 
just let it hang out for y'all a bit. Hopefully y'all can see that. You are doing so well on changing your old habits and thoughts that the angels are now encouraging you to take the next steps along your pathway. Yep, that paperwork, which are to approve yourself. And then love who you truly are. You are a divine, perfect, loving, and lovable child of God. And it's time for you to look at yourself through these spiritual eyes. Take a moment to look back on your achievements. And then wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself some well-deserved love. The expanded interpretation. Your self-esteem and confidence have taken blows of shock and trauma over the years and are no longer serving you. The angels want nothing more than for you to be at peace with your life. Peaceful warrior. To be at peace with your life. And they are here to help you restore, help restore your faith and confidence in yourself. You have the magnificent ability to live a life you love. Take time today and realize that you are loved unconditionally by heaven. And then take some steps towards loving yourself at the same time. This is the key to opening up your good heart. This is the key to opening up your good heart. I wish I remember the key code to open up my damn refrigerator. Thank you all for God. I know I'm just... I repent. I repent. I repent. Every Everything that I was, everything that I am, everything that I will be as a recompense, everything that you've given on to me, please receive me, receive me. I surrender, I surrender. Please restore me. <sighs> Restoration read. Let's get some higher self out and see what they got to say. Thank you to the Alpha and Omega for leading me through this day. For it is unknown, and we know not what it represents or what it will present. But I know that you will be here with me through all of it. Direction. Again, I don't know what it's going to present. But I know that the Most High God is here to guide me, to direct, to direct me through it. The unknown. What is the day going to bring? We don't know, beloved. It's a whole adventure every single day. Anything else in here, I should. All right, gratitude. We gratitude. We, we gratitude. We have gratitude. We do. Like I said, Second Corinthians 12 and 9. Glorify my afflictions. That's Second Corinthians 12 and 10. The grace is sufficient for thee. That's 12 and 9. Second Corinthians 12 and 9. The grace is sufficient for thee. For the most high God's strength is made perfect in my weakness. I am blessed. I am blessed beyond belief. I am. And there is a way. We say let it all go. And what's behind that except. <clears throat> let it all go. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Don't let pain, anger, or guilt control you. Except it is what it is what it is. Healing occurs naturally with acceptance. Make peace with what is. The only way out is through. Got to go through it. Got to go through it. Ain't no choice but to go through it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just do it. Just do it. Anything else in here, beloved? No. All right, all right, all right. Shift your pro focus off the problem. See solutions. You have all you need. You have all we need. Shift your problems. Shift, shift your focus. And look, that says shift your focus. I'm about to pick up this high vibe deck and look what it say. A new focus. If you are unhappy in your job, in your relationship, or with your body, find something about the situation that does make you happy. The fact that that happened makes me crummy. I'm telling you. 
she my blessing. She is. But damn it. She damn, damn sure make not look. I got to be smart. I got to be fast. I got to be quick on my feet. Fucking with blessing. You got to be quick. Released. To let go of this shit for some one of us I'm gonna be real look when you are upset or frustrated hold it on to negative emotion lowers your vibration I glorify my afflictions yes I glorify my afflictions for it is a blessing to have these problems the problems that blessing presents is a blessing in itself I believe that shit my degree. Stronger, better, faster, more efficient. To release it, journal about your feelings, talk to a friend, or confront the problem. Get on to the resolution. I got to mail that damn paperwork in. I mean, that's what we doing. We gonna take a motherfucking break and go to the goddamn UPS and send that shit off, Ashe. I don't know. It's still some of the stuff that we have to gather and put in it. We got to write letters and all kind of shit. After you release the emotion, your vibration will be elevated. If you keep going back to the problem in your mind, you will be lowering your vibration. I can't stop thinking about it. I try to go in there and open up my damn refrigerator. I can't remember the combination. I got to go in there and probably open the lock. I got to order another one. Hopefully, thank you. Thankfully, if it ain't too much shit in that bitch, I need you. Nope, nope. I got some dry creamer, so that's a blessing. Thank you so much so I can still hear my coffee. Some sugar in the cabinet. I can get in that one. And I got my zucchini bread in the freezer. I can get in that one. I mean, I'm good. We good. We good. We blessed. We'll be able to make it through the day without going in the refrigerator, I say. We will. We will. Focus on what's going right instead. That's what I just said. That's the right part of it. It is. Remember, a release of emotion is not a low vibration. It's just a different vibration. Release it. Humanity, say to yourself, it is easy to be at my highest level. Every day I get better and better and better at it. Yeah. Just being human. Say to yourself, I'm just human. It is easy to vibrate at my highest level. That felt like the challenge on this day. Happy dance. Dance around the room. Change our body. Change our energy. Like I said, I feel like I'm grieving relationships of the living. Positive changes here. Dance around the room with that positive change. The opposite of an intuitive thought is a self-critical thought. Whenever you put yourself down or think you are not good enough, reframe the statement. For example, term, I'm not good enough into what I was good enough. Again, glorify, glorify, glorify your afflictions. They ain't problems, they blessings. And what lesson is my blessing teaching? I release. But again, that shit is easier than said than, and than done. It really is. It's easier said than done. Because see, we gotta send that paperwork in. We gotta finish it. We gotta complete it. They take letters and documentation and proof and all of that stuff that you done did, all that you can do. And then you might get some help. You gotta send that in and wait a couple weeks until they make a decision in. And people be like, well, why you didn't start earlier? Because I didn't want to. Who the hell want to send that kid away? Not me. Maybe you. I'm just saying. You might have been a little bit quicker than your girl. Maybe. Don't judge me. I'm trying not to judge me for why I didn't start earlier. Shit. Because I wanted to work out in the home and shit. Like, we don't want to ask you to do shit. But besides, go to school, do your goddamn school work and chores and regular kid shit. And you can have regular kid shit. And I sit up here and get mad because you want to steal and did kill a bitch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know. That wasn't nice, was it? It wasn't. I'm frustrated. Please forgive me. 
not a parent. I actually would help me call back those words. Call them back. Walk them back. Walk them back. Pull them back. Pull them back. Bad them up. Pull them bad them. Bad them up and cast them down. Thank you. So that they do not return them to me. If it's in an error. Because this is right here. For the hard time. Having a hard time with a situation. Yep, 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 we are. Thank you, thank you. Glorify the affliction. Yes, yes, yes. Because that was not glorification. No, I heard damnation. Yes, we don't want that. We don't. Imagine that person, people, or event being surrounded by a sparkly white loving light. Imagine her in the hands of the Most High. Because I don't know what to do, beloved, but give her back on to what that made her and made me and made you. Sometimes you just got to take your hands off of it. Release. Make a cocoon of love around them for it. Make a cocoon of love around them or it. This changes the energy around the circumstances. Plus, it changes you. This changes the energy around circumstances. Plus, it changes you. Say to yourself, it is easy to vibrate at my highest level. Every day I get better and better and better. At it. Remember to visualize these situations surrounded in white love. Remember to visualize me giving it up to the Most High God. Because the Most High God can do all things. And my weakness, it shows its strength. Say to yourself again, it's easy to vibrate at my highest level. If I release it onto the Most High God that knows what to do with it, I don't know what to do. And I'm telling you, y'all folks think it's a game. It is Omega. It's not a game, y'all. It is not a game. Blank slate. Pick one thing beyond your control and let it go. Just like that. <laughs> Pick one thing beyond your control and let it go. Just like that. It's my situation with blessing, y'all. It's beyond my control. I don't know what to do with that. I don't. Medication, counseling, all that don't work. It ain't no and it's just getting worse. Cheers to enjoying life. You're welcome. Thank you. Meditate. <laughs> Most high God said meditate. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. You are a child of the universe. Yes. Yes, yes. Is there anything else you would like to say? Yes. Is it cards? No. Would you like to speak? Most high God say stop worrying and give blessing to me.
We see transformation, high priestess, and another transition. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed change. I'm helping clairvoyance. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. How are you being called to step up and lead and things are changing at a cellular level? Deep healing. Spiritual understanding. I am bringing you es esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Understanding why I need to accept, why I need to release the fact that I don't mirror what's triggering you. Yeah. Break the chain. Beloved one. That's my beloved blessing. But somebody else is coming in to speak. Share your voice. We saw speak the truth right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. These cards got a weird sheen and sometimes it makes it difficult to see. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. Anything else in here, beloved? No. Trust a nigga. What is that feeling trying to tell you that it's time for me to do something about this stuff? Please? That's what I hear. And it don't feel good no, to say it. I don't feel no... Who the hell want to think like that about a child? Nobody. Nobody. And I bet you my girlfriend did not think that either. No. I have personal experience of how they Can I pick this up? No, is there something else? Yes. Stop worrying. Worrying too much. Give. To me, give her to me. Is there anything else you'd like to get? No. This is it. Twenty-seven fifty-seven on the phone, beloved. Twenty-eight even. Twenty-eight even. Ten. Endings and new beginnings. The ending of this cycle and beginning of additional help resources because we need it. I ask for your prayers. I ask for your love and your support. I ask for you to comment if anybody else is going through it. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. Because we hear these stories and we see them on the news. But how many people talk about it? We, how many people say, you know what, I feel like that could be me. When you don't know what to do and what resources is there out there for us who is like, look, I done called, on, not for, for on my, look, when you were called DHS yourself, did, what is it, Department of Health and Human Services, yourself, I done called CPS myself. What do I do? Cause see, y'all got help for if I was uh, just, just, you know, my husband was kicking on my, you know. If I was elderly and somebody was doing something to me. I'm a child and I got protection from that week. But what the fuck is there for parents when you afraid of your own kid? When you locked in your own room. You gotta lock everything in your house because you don't know what this little would do to you. What do you do? And it ain't like I'm the only one that know. No, folks is afraid for me, yo. And it ain't no resources. None. What do you do? What? I can't be the 
them anymore. Cannot. Unless the only time you hear about it is when they on the news on the other side of it. And it ain't gonna be me. No, no. I told you I feel like Bernie Mac. These kids ain't gonna kill me. They not. I'm blessed. And favored. And protected. I'm protected. I know it. Fill out that damn packet. We got the first part already sent off. Now it's time to finish part two. And the only reason why that shit ain't getting mailed off, because the envelope was too small to put it all into. And I remembered I got to add some more shit, like some old letters and a whole log of all this shit I've been keeping for you two years. Because how much shit you got to go through to build up evidence to show that your ass ain't the one that's out to fucking lunch. No. Shit is way too much. Dos muchos. I love you. I love you. You know I do. You know I do. I'm, I'm trying to hold on. I went from mustard seeds to apple seeds to watermelon seeds to a mango seed of faith in my head just now. Hold on to a mango seed of faith. Keep it. We gonna get some help. Soon. It's coming. Yes it is. Yes it is. So more it is. So more it is. So more it is. And so more it be. So more it be. So more it be. I shame. I shame. I shame. best not to worry. We gonna worry. Yes, we are. I know it. Please remind us to wonder instead of worry. Wonder how you are gonna work it out. Wonder how you're gonna keep us safe. Wonder how I'm gonna get in my refrigerator. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> it's a joke. We already know how we're gonna get in the refrigerator. We're gonna pry that. We're gonna water a lock. Wait till the new lock come. Pry the old lock off and keep on going. My refrigerator might be scratched up a bit, but at least I can know it's gonna be some food in it when I open it. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Just like I love the Alpha and Omega. Yes, that which called and made all things knows what to do with exactly what to do with my blessing. Because I damn sure don't know. And everything that I tried, it ain't worked. So, we need to keep her safe. I need to stay safe. She's going to be all right. Put her in the hands of the creator and wrap her in that warm white light. Cocoon. Wrap me in one too. So, if you guys get this message, say a prayer for your girl. I'm going to say one too for all the other parents out there going through this in the YouTube world. And land and www. World Wide Web. The web around the world. We connected. We are. And I've seen the story, so I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. But there's not many of us that talk about it. We don't. Just don't talk about it. Speaking our truth. Sharing our voice. When these things like this are happening, who do we turn to? What's there for you? What's there for me? The Most High God, the Alpha and the Omega, the Infinite Intelligence, Wisdom, the Principal Thing, the Breath of Life, the Life Force, the Holy Chi, has said to me, we're going to have to do something unconventional. 
something way out the box. Something a little bit unorthodox. I don't want to do it though, I don't. But life is more important than pride and ego. And sometimes you just have to accept the fact that there's no other place to go. I was asking, is there another place to go? The most has said no. There's something in that book. The Adi Granath. We're going to take a look. We might bring another message later on today. And let y'all know what the most High had to say. Because I feel there's something in there that's pulling me to it. My eyes keep going over there and it just keeps looking. Something for spiritual strength, for encouragement and inspiration. Something else that we need for edification. Yes, yes, yes. I hope again that this has helped someone know that I love you. And until the next time, y'all, this one's done. I shall.